Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting edition, another haul video here on the channel, Geo here. Today we're going over all the manga and anime that I got in the month of May. A Galaxy Next Door Volume 1 from Giro Amagakure. I loved the first volume. I did a first impressions video if you guys want to check that out. Really nice, wholesome, sweet little rom-com that I highly recommend if you're in the mood for something uh, light to read. I told myself I was going to take a break, but I couldn't leave My Hero Academia at Volume 29, right? I had to get Volume 30. Now I don't know if I'm going to get everything, I'd rather just, I think I I want to wait a while because I do know the manga is entering its final arc if I remember correctly so I kind of want to wait and see how it plays out and how many books I would need Oh boy, Burn the Witch from Tight Kubo. I have to be completely transparent with you guys. This was a FOMO buy. I saw it on store shelves. I, I got FOMO'd. I said, oh look, it came back in stock. I need it, right? I don't have Bleach, the Bleach manga. I love Bleach. I love the manga and I love the anime. Kubo's a great artist. I guess I wanted something from his <laughs> library of works in my collection. I think I didn't need this, but I do like the design. It's a shame that the book like I showed off earlier the slip covers coming off the seam there with the glue so I have to rebind that but aside from that everything looks really cool the story wasn't necessarily my favorite I didn't love it like some other people on this platform but it's still great to look at because I love uh, Tight Kubo's uh, pencil work Rent a Girlfriend Volume 12. Yes, I'm still continuing this series, even though I know it's gonna bite me in the butt because it's gonna be, what, 30 something volumes? Oh boy. But I still dig it. It's silly, it's fun. Record of Ragnarok Volume 2. I really loved Volume 1. I love the premise of this series. One giant tournament between the gods and the best of humanity. If humanity wins, we get saved. If we lose, it's the apocalypse and Ragnarok and Doomsday all combined into one. What could go wrong? So yeah, this is super bombastic and fun. The art is insane on this, so I highly recommend it if you're into this sort of thing. Crazy muscle definition and, and all these kooky concepts and characters from mythology going at it. I love it. Asadora Volume 5 from Naoki Urusawa. Really fun story. I'm up to date with this one. I love the series so much. I love that it blends genres and does something new. In my opinion, I think this might be my favorite drawn work from the mangaka. I love this. I think the art is just splendid and in my opinion, his best work yet. We're gonna have to see how the story plays out to see if it's an all around winner. And of course, I gotta show you guys how all the books line up with those beautiful colored spines. Number five, volume four from Taiyo Matsumoto. Part of me wishes they could have thinned out the release for number five into five volumes. I think that would have been really cool, but alas, we got the final volume here, completing this awesome series from Taiyo Matsumoto. And I mentioned this as soon as I got volume one and, and did a first impressions and all that fun stuff. I am going to go back and read all of this and make a proper series review for you guys. So I'm gonna work on that as soon as I can. Next up is The Seven Deadly Sins Omnibus Volume 3, collecting volumes 7, 8, and 9. Looking really cool. I haven't read any of this before. It's my first time diving into the franchise, so I don't know what to think yet. I am reading it as of this video, so I'll let you know. And here is Omnibus Volume 4 containing volumes 10, 11, and 12. They are just going super fast on this release. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be 13 or 14 of these books and we'll have the whole set. I love this uh, softcover Omnibus edition. Really cool. Oh boy, Die Weregelder 1 and 2. I probably butchered that, so I do apologize. You probably cringed at my pronunciation. But I love Blade of the Immortal. I love Wave Listen to Me and other stuff from Samura. I wanted to get a couple of his in-stock books. So I got this series, which is... I, I love that it's the equivalent of an Asian martial arts exploit slash B-movie, but thrown in... in manga style yes please more of that because this looks absolutely amazing and i can't wait to read the whole thing volume three i know people have been waiting for that forever hopefully it does come out i think the newest release date is december of 2022 so fingers crossed it does come out speaking of hiroaki samura here is wave listen to me 
Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I got all of Wave Listen to Me in one fell swoop. It was on sale at Right Stuff. It had a small discount. Plus, I think I used a spring coupon or something, because I know I got it for a little bit less than what they were uh, selling for uh, originally. But I love this series. I love the show. I reviewed it on my channel. And the excuse here, because I don't, I stopped doing like, um, getting the Blu-ray and the manga because it's too expensive. Uh, the excuse here is that the manga or the anime, I should say, does not adapt everything 100%. It skips some stories and chapters in favor of uh, doing a, a slightly different narrative, which is great. Uh, I don't mind when they do that, but I'm missing out on some stories that I want to get through the original manga. So that's why I got the whole thing. I do believe the next volume is scheduled for next year, so I'm excited for that. Gantz Omnibus Volume 9. I dropped off reading this series waiting for more books. So now I have Volume 8 and 9 so I can continue my adventure through Gantz for the very first time. It's been a chaotic, beautiful, horrific, awesome ride uh, so far. So yeah, uh, let's go. Volume 9. The art looks as great as always and super horrific and graphic and I don't know. I, I have so many thoughts when it comes to Gantz, but we'll get to it when we get to it. The final volume of the new release of the old Battle Angel Alita. It got reprinted in smaller Tonkoban sized books. But yeah, this is the final volume of the first series. Here we have all six volumes looking really cool. Really nice textured feel to it. And I am looking forward to finishing Battle Angel Alita so I can move on to the next uh, sequel series in the franchise. Frieden Volume 4. I did a nice, simple first impressions video on the channel if you guys want to check it out. But this is such a somber yet inspiring and beautiful series. And I, I, I love it and I am excited to continue that journey. Here is volume four of that with some great artwork as usual. So yeah, looking forward to more of Frieden. One of my favorite of the modern Shonen Jump series, this is Dr. Stone. Here we have volume 21. I'm a little disappointed that it ended with volume 25. I haven't read the finale yet, so please don't spoil it in the comments. Uh, so I am looking forward to reading the conclusion and I hope it satisfies. But even if it doesn't, I'm still a fan of the series. I love Dr. Stone and the concept and characters and the art from uh, Boichi and all that stuff. I am looking forward to concluding that series eventually and, and making a, a cool video on why I happen to like it so much, because I know it has its haters. So I am looking forward to just sort of a conversation piece on my love for this franchise of Dr. Stone. Beastars Volume 18, we're nearly done, right? I think it's 23 volumes, if I remember correctly. So we're nearly there. I'm excited for that. Beastars has been great. It's my first time reading this thing, so I don't know how the manga ended. I haven't been spoiled yet on that as well. So yeah, looking great. Can't wait for more. One of my all-time favorite shonen manga and anime. This is Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. I love the original anime and I love the reboot even more. Dai is one of the best shonen manga leads that you'll find and the story is just great. It has that charisma and style from the Dragon Quest media franchise, but it adds its own spin to it with some really memorable characters and plot and all that stuff and just a great uh, wholesome lead character that I'm constantly rooting for. Last haul video, I talked about getting Vagabond Volume 1 of the Vizbig Edition. So here's 3, 5, 6, and 7. Unfortunately, some of the books are out of stock, out of print. Uh, others are still in stock, and I did get them, but they didn't arrive in time for this haul video. Nonetheless, really excited about this. Vagabond has been one of my most desired manga uh, for my collection since forever. And just to own any Inoue in a collection is awesome. I'm missing two, four, eight, and ten, I think. Something like that. Moving on to a couple Blu-rays, because I like to highlight some anime. Here is Project Aiko. Now, something funny about this, this is a great OVA series. This came out December 2021. It's been a minute. And what's shocking is that the Blu-ray stayed in stock at Right Stuff all this time, because I debated for a long time if I wanted to add Project Aiko to my collection. Like, part of me, like 80% of me was like, yes, of course. And then that other 20% was like, I don't know, maybe you could use 
use that to fund something else and blah 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 so long story short here i am finally with the damn movie project echo in my hands it looks absolutely gorgeous everything that discotech is putting out these days is just phenomenal top tier uh, boutique cinema level if you will so i am really happy about this and i cannot wait to collect a uh, movie too when that drops in a couple months from now Darkstalkers, the complete OVA collection. Now, what's funny about this is that I already own this on DVD and I've been wanting to own it for a long time, but then they announced, oh, we're remastering Darkstalkers. We're releasing it for everybody in, uh, you know, 1080p remastered, looking glorious. I'm like, yeah, son of a gun. I'm gonna have to double dip on this. So I did, here's the Blu-ray next to uh, the DVD and all that fun stuff. And of course, so the main difference between the two releases, aside from the transfer quality, which looks a million times better on the Blu-ray edition, is that the DVD comes with two dual-sided art cards. They're not in the Blu-ray release, unfortunately, so that means I'm gonna keep the DVD of Darkstalkers. I'm a huge fan of this franchise. It's my favorite fighting game, so... Yeah, I'm happy about it. Not happy that I double dipped. That's not something I do often when it comes to uh, media, but whatever. Here's a movie that has been recommended to me for a long time and I never bothered picking it up until now. This is the Essentials version of Sword of the Stranger. It doesn't have the slipcase, but that's all right. I got it for a good deal and it's an awesome looking movie. And how can you not like an armed dog right there on the cover? Also, here's a coat. If it works, grab it. One of the legendary anime of all time, Astro Boy. This is the 80s series in full color. Getting an amazing Blu-ray uh, transfer release from the folks at Discotech. Looking really cool. This is stunning. This is a really good release. I love the use of yellow. I looked at my collection and not a lot of anime use all yellow, like super mustardy yellow on the slip covers or covers for the releases. So when you put it on the shelf, it sticks out and you take notice of Astro Boy. The insides look great, dual art, the disc art, everything looks really cool. And uh, yeah, happy about this. I hope that one day we can get the 2003 version on Blu-ray because I think that only has a DVD release, if I'm not mistaken. Finally, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, and I'm talking long time, probably since 2016 or 17, whenever I made um, my first anime comic or, or manga or room tour, whatever, I highlighted all the DVDs and the anime Blu-rays and all that, and I talked about Black Lagoon. And for the longest time, I've had with me the Steelbook of Season 1, along with Roberta's Blood Trail OVA on Blu-ray. I got that when it was first released. I never bothered getting Season 2 for some reason. I sort of left it at that. But now, finally, after so freaking long, this is a story that goes back into FOMO territory. I kind of wanted to start getting the manga and then I realized how out of print it is and expensive. And I was kind of annoyed by that. I waited and waited and waited and just got tired of waiting and said, you know what, whenever it happens, I guess I'll grab it. But for now, let me just grab the Blu-ray, which adapts almost all of the available material so far, I think up to volume 10 of the manga. So uh, let me just concentrate on that, enjoy the series and get it on Blu-ray, finally upgrading my DVD. And whenever volume 11 comes back in stock, I'll get that, you know, 10, 11 and volume 12, which drops in August of this year. So long story short, I'm super happy that I own uh, Black Lagoon on Blu-ray and I can rewatch the series and all that fun stuff. So that's it guys. That is the haul video for the month of May. A lot of manga, a couple anime, lots of cool stuff. If you guys want me to review a specific product, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, thank you so much for all the subs and follows and likes and all that stuff. I truly do appreciate it. It means the world to me. You guys are amazing. If you're watching this for the first time, if you want to help a brother out, um, aiming for that goal of 3K before the end of the year, subscribe and help me out and stay tuned for more weeb content on all things manga and anime. So thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next episode.
Oh, oh, oh.